Now moving over to the development of normal pulmonary system. You need to understand that the normal pulmonary system is mainly derived from the foregut. So it is an endodermal derivative. So uh, if I have to divide it, you can divide it into two parts. Now initially you should remember that the nose as well as the nasal cavities as well as the upper part of pharynx they all are derived from the pharyngeal arches these pharyngeal arches are usually mesodermal in origin but they also have ectodermal components the neuroectodermal components as well as the endodermal components so we don't use the word ectodermal mesodermal we simply say they arise from pharyngeal arches so pharyngeal arch derivatives are the ones which form the upper part of your respiratory tract if we look at the lower part the lower zones ranging from the tracheal epithelium the laryngeal epithelium as well as the remaining respiratory epithelium it all arises from endoderm and it is a foregut derivative they are considered to be foregut derivatives the third thing that you need to know is that the laryngeal cartilages the laryngeal cartilages are neuro ectodermal or neural crest ectodermal derivatives and finally the entire musculature the entire blood vessels the supporting tissue, connective tissue, as well as the rings of the bronchi, they all are mesodermal in origin. So, majorly, if you have to choose one, majority of respiratory tract is derived from what it is derived from endoderm or foregut derivative that is the classical teaching however there is significant contribution from mesoderm also and very rarely some components may be derived from the ectoderm as well but mainly it is a endodermal derivative so if mcq asks you in super speciality choose one it will be foregut endoderm remember that foregut also forms the proximal part of gut so gut and tracheal development tends to go simultaneously and that is why you have all those tracheoesophageal fistulas developing uh, whenever there is a foregut derivative defect. Now, if I have to show you a picture of how the pulmonary system develops, the pulmonary system, the gas exchange segments ranging from the uh, middle part of respiratory tract to the lower part basically follows the following sequence. Initially, there is the embryonic stage where there is simple outpouching and major bronchi tend to form. Then you have the pseudoglandular phase where the branches of those arise. Then in canalicular stage you have all these bronchioles developing. Then secular stage where sacs develop and finally you have the alveolar stage where alveoli tend to mature. Alveoli, primitive alveoli can occur in the secular stage also but mature alveoli are present in the alveolar phase. So, these are the five stages you are supposed to remember. How MCQ in super speciality can be asked? They will give you question like this. Identify the correct sequence of pulmonary development in fetus and newborn and there will be four options. One will have embryonic, pseudoglandular, canalicular and secular. Another will have embryonic, canalicular, secular, alveolar. So, there will be variations in the sequence. So, sequence is something which you should remember. Second thing is, what are the details of each part? What is important structure forming in each part? And what is the gestational period during which it forms? So, there is a very important table which I have taken from the latest edition of CDT Pediatrics 
2020 and modified it a bit so that uh, a lot of information can be clubbed together in that part. So if you have a look, so I am dividing this table into four parts. Stage of development is the first thing. Second, what weeks of gestation that uh, development stage is happening. Third is the transition, kya kya ho raha hai, what all is happening during that period and pathology. If there is interruption during that development, what diseases can arise from that? So the first stage of development, what we had done just now, it was the embryonic stage. In embryonic stage, it occurs between four to six weeks of gestation. So if MCQ asks you, at what stage the development of lungs begins, the answer will be four to six weeks because the first stage, embryonic stage begins at that point. What transitions happen? The major bronchi form from the pou out pouching of the foregut and the main pulmonary arteries also form. Remember that pulmonary arteries will be rising from the mesoderm. And what are the pathologies that may occur during this phase? It is congenital diaphragmatic hernia, tracheoesophageal fistula, and lung aplasia which can happen during involvement of embryonic stage. As you can well imagine, this table can be asked in so many convenient forms and it is a very useful table. It is not given in Nelson, but it is something which is a storehouse of MCQs for future for your entrance exams. I, I know that it is difficult for you to go through each and every book. So whatever important tables are there, we are combining at one place. So second stage is the pseudo glandular stage, which occurs between 6 to 16 weeks. Here, the terminal bronchioles, terminal bronchiole, which is the transitional zone, the gas exchange part, it is a conducting zone. The gas exchange part has not yet started forming. Conducting airways branching is completed by 16 weeks. What are the pathologies that can happen here? There will be foregut malformations including bronchogenic cyst. There will be CPAM that is congenital pulmonary airway malformation and previously called as CCAMs and sequestrations will also develop. Third stage is the canalicular stage which occurs between 16 to 26 weeks. This is the time during which respiratory bronchioles grow and angiogenesis is extensive. Now there is a MCQ point that you need to add here. Question asked may ask you what is the time during which surfactant production begins? Nelson clearly says that surfactant production begins at 20 weeks of gestation. Even though it may take another 4 to 6 weeks for that uh, surfactant to appear in the amniotic fluid and to appear in the lung alveoli. But surfactant production begins at what age? It begins at 20 weeks of gestation. This is given in Nelson 21st edition. The fourth stage is the saccular stage, which occurs between 26 to 36 weeks. Now the primitive alveoli are forming, can be a potential MCQ. Primitive alveoli form at what stage? It is saccular stage between 26 to 36 weeks and the surfactant production is very high during this period. And pathology that may occur during this phase, if surfactant production ceases, does not happen, then RDS or HMD, respiratory distress syndrome or highland membrane disease, which you have read in the neonatal part. And finally, we have the alveolar stage, which occurs beyond 36 weeks. Here, the complexity of alveoli tends to happen. There is incomplete alveolarization, which can happen as a pathology in case this process is interrupted. So this is the sequence of fetal lung development and the corresponding points that you need to remember. Subscribe and press the bell icon so you never miss an update from PrepLadder.